so this is what I'm doing right now. I'm uh, planting the trees, doing th three things uh, at the same time. Planting the trees. I had to move the uh, travel trailer because the sewer gravity, you know, doesn't flow up, I guess. <laughs> anyway, so I messed up on that one. So I'm going to have to move the trailer to uh, higher ground. Hopefully, um, it works after I move it. But Hello, everyone. It's Thursday. Yesterday was a nasty day. I couldn't do anything. Um, I've been building the dog house and... Um, moved the trailer, planted those trees, which it was a pain in the butt. It's just clay, you know, it's just, ugh, anyways. So here's where the shelter is going to be located. Um, it's going to be about, it's kind of small, but it's for four people, but that's better than nothing. So here's the uh, corner of the house. And, uh, and... The shelter is going to be located right there. So now I'm about to measure that corner over there to that corner because this corner right there is 10 feet from that corner. So Set this to zero. Right there. Let's measure straight ahead. To this corner. It's about 42 feet and 10 inches so I'm just gonna go by the 42 there say so I'm gonna say 42 uh, I'm gonna say go ahead and put 43 on there just to keep it on the safe side back over here and I'm kind of like writing it on this piece of paper let's see I'll get back with you and then I'll show you the plan after I dry it out. So these are my measurements right there. Um, 10 feet away from the house. The shelter is 48 inches by 60 wide by 62 high. Um, wrote it all out and now it's all ready. Now I had to go down to Denton and but I want to work on the house on this dog house too. So this is the dog house. This is what I've done so far to it. That's the back of it. I'm using some of these fencing panels that I bought and some of them my cousin I guess he he had uh, some of them on the at his house that he brought over. Um, this is what I've done so far. And then over here, my my wife she wants a a cat for like a barn cat. So I'm making a door right there. And. He's gonna be able to go in he or she whatever he's gonna be able to go in here into the attic space and uh still need to go to home depot and get the other side apparently you know one sheet took most of the other side and then i had to buy another one so i can put it on this side and uh but yeah about the door for large store dog since I have a German Shepherd. Well, he'll go. She'll go in here to here. And I have a mess right now, as you can see. There's the little one. I brought the little one 
about a week ago and he's he's got the uh, invisible fence um, collar on <laughs> there's a little one and uh, he'll go inside uh, that's my dad's compressor he let me borrow it he he got it from uh, power freights and uh, earlier today I ordered uh, well actually yesterday I ordered some sand they brought it over here this morning so this is it right here hopefully I don't know if it's gonna be enough but uh, we're trying to fill this uh, it's uneven so they're gonna have to fill, fill it up so make it even for the foundation and uh, probably gonna be short on it but yep that's it I might keep working on this house and later on I'll have to go, go to Home Depot so I can get the that roof panel and uh, guess I'll record as I go uh, I'm, I'm by myself so I cannot uh, work at the same time and record at the same time I don't even have a stand for my phone so there it is so what I'm doing here is put in a screw right there on the other corner and then I'm going overlapping like about one inch and I get the next board put it out to that line the one inch line and, uh, and then I just go all the way up all the way to the top with that and uh, um, on the bottom right here I just added some scrap some scrap wood like that so we lift it from the bottom and then after that all of them get stacked up then I'm going to fill it in these gaps right here with uh, foam just like that side and uh, I'm going to do it right there on the corners too in the corner over there too with that foam stuff and, and yep that's how that's how I'm doing it so Guess I uh, go ahead and keep going, keep working on this until I run out of nails, actually uh, screws. And then I'm gonna have to go, go get some more from Home Depot. And before I put the other board, I'm gonna go ahead and put some of that. I've been using caulking on this side by right now, so I need to use more caulking. I put a line of caulking through here all the way down. And uh, I'm just using this leftover all weather soft floor glue all the way across since that's what I have left over here from when I put this board down. And that's it. So I'll see you in a minute. It is so windy today. So the next day, this is the bottom of it. I decided to go ahead and put insulation on the floor. Um, do it in two pieces at first I, I was thinking about doing it that whole piece but uh, the wind kept, kept knocking this down so I'm just doing it one piece at a time and uh, that's the bottom of it and this is the other side put some insulation I put that one in there before I put these planks on there because getting it through the top would have been a bad idea so I just go ahead and put it in there and uh, I already did the back wall and the other wall on the other side did the back side and this side so yeah Bought some more, uh, some roofing sheeting for uh, plywood for the roof. 
gonna put it on this side. But uh, I was thinking about putting insulation on the top first before uh, on this top section because the bottom section is gonna be for the the cat that my, my wife wants to get my wife. And I got the other sheet right here. But, uh, yeah, that's my uh, progress here. I just get I guess I'll I'll come back and show you the rest of it after I do some more work on it. So this is the end result of the uh the board that I was installing. Now these screws they're like great, they're pretty good. I like them. They're uh called take mate. The uh the box sucks but it just came apart just from sitting there. I don't know if the wind tore it up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, these screws are, I don't know why they didn't come up with this a long time ago, but this star looking thing, man, I, I, it doesn't strip the, uh, I guess the head of the screw too easy. And uh, yeah. That's the bottom of it. Now I have to flip it back up on his legs and uh, I guess keep going on the inside. So I finished most of the house, the dog house. I brought my other dog here. She's been practicing the uh, invisible fence collar on her. Ready? She's right here. <laughs> um, right now I'm gonna put this one on here. I'm not a roofer, so I'm just gonna do have right mark it right here and then scoot it down a little bit so it won't be touching the wood under there. The water will drip down and fall down before it hits the other wood in there. And then put the paper on top. And then once I put the paper on top, I'm gonna put this one look like this on top of the paper. Um, that way because if the water comes in it will go in if it goes into the paper it will roll down here instead of being on top of this and then if the water goes between the paper and this um, then it will hit the wood so I'm just gonna do it this way and uh, it's gonna be the there's the front right here Yep, that's it. This is a neighbor's horse. Hello, hello. Uh, I guess I'll do that and then uh, continue with my video as we go. So I'm done with the with the paper. This is how it looks on the top. The other way looks the same way. Um, put that one underneath the paper. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm not a roofer. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get some uh, feedback on that. On Probably I'm doing it wrong, but it's a dog house, so I, I don't care. Um, that's the front of it. And my dog. Oh, wait a minute. That's not my dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have two of them in there. She's got her muscle right now because this one and the little one doesn't get along. They do get along, but they play too rough. 
So my next step is to uh, put some uh, shingles and uh, yeah, I'm a. Uh, oop, the sun is gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that because I want to get the roof done before uh, it's supposed to rain this week and. I've been getting off from work and it's when I, when I get off from work it's it's late. I mean it's dark. It's not late, it's dark. <laughs> Cuz of the time change here and uh but yeah. Be right back on that. Put the shingles on and then I'll uh record again. Hopefully it's not too late and dark. All right, so this is how I'm doing it. I'm overlapping it about a half an inch on the bottom. This one I put it upside down. The other one, I'm, I'm going to put it straight like how it's supposed to, so it will double up over here. And I'm going to keep going like that until I get it filled up all the way to the top. So, the sun is setting. <clears throat> There's a neighbor's horse right there in, on our property. And the neighbor asked permission if she will, she can let the horse out here. And we said yes, yeah, so it keeps our yard kind of in like mode. Not too much, but... Anyways, this is what I got now. And uh, doing like increments of six inches going up. And then after that, I'm going to feel that over here this way. Um, I'm going to go ahead and keep doing it. and um, I guess I'll show you guys the uh, end result of it. And see how it looks at the end. If, if there's light today, probably not. But another day. Well, it may the next day. <laughs> so this is the final product. Um, I'll probably do caulking later on, and uh, but uh, I'm done with the most important part. Here's the uh, hole for the cat. There's the dog, and there's the roof oh, already done. So that's it. It's done. Please uh, like and subscribe to my channel. I also uh, got some uh, single digit temperatures this month. I had to buy some. Uh, we woke up one morning. Actually, it was the 1st of uh, January. And uh, our water was frozen. So we can use the water. So we had to buy the skirt for the trailer and then I insulated the uh, well I did that way before we got froze, frozen weather freezing weather I ran out of uh, this uh, insulation right here so I kind of like rigged it over here with some uh, insulation I had left over from the dog house and it worked it worked pretty good about the uh, heating uh, the heating uh, wire for the hose first I wrapped it up with some tape aluminum tape and then here's some extra one I just put it on top of this so it wouldn't uh, I didn't use that part so and they said it's not to overlap so I just kind of like went around and then put it in there put some over there in there and then came back and put the sensor in there so I can plug it into the uh, the meter but today it's a pretty nice day so I just decided to finish the uh, the uh, doghouse and I'm done with it so that's it thank you for watching